Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. I know I am actually alive, you guys. I'm so sorry that I have not been filming any videos for you guys within these past two or three months. I honestly don't even remember because I've been gone for so long. And I apologize for that. I actually found some time today to be sitting down and filming a video for you guys, which I'm super excited about um, because I do really miss you guys. And I'm excited to put out some more tutorials. I miss the entire, like, Halloween tutorial again a hundred times a million times I should say I am really sorry I've been MIA on YouTube lately but I promise I will be putting out context every single week I will be putting up this video today of course the one that you guys are watching um, and then I will be putting up two videos next week because I honestly owe it to you guys and then after that I'll be doing a video every Saturday so that you guys can have a video on the weekend oh so yeah I'm gonna stop rambling now and we're gonna go ahead and get into the video so today I'm gonna be doing my October favorites it's kind of like September and October like half of September and mainly October because I haven't been here for so long and I want to share the products I want to share some products with you guys that I have been really loving this month the first thing I'm gonna be showing you guys is gonna be my lip favorites and this one is what I'm actually wearing today and it's Hypno by O4 Cosmetics and it's a part of the Manny MUA collection I do have the entire collection I think I shared it in a video with you guys or two videos I don't remember but I shared it with you guys multiple times but I have not really worn this color more than I have this month because I honestly am not a dark lip girl. I am just a nudes girl because I just feel more comfortable with my natural lips. I don't really wear pinks and I don't really wear dark colors or any like colorful ones like my sister loves wearing blues and greens and all that but I I'm just more comfortable staying neutral. But this month when I wanted to wear a dark lip or I wanted to just dress up my makeup more and make it more vampy, I did go for Hypno by Ofra Cosmetics um, because I have only two dark lips to be honest or maybe three but I feel like this one has been so comfortable and I love the color it's a really beautiful wine berry color and I feel like it's perfect with any look if you do a dramatic or neutral look it just looks stunning and it's so comfortable on my lips this is this is honestly just so gorgeous I'll show you guys a swatch right here let me just swatch it on my side yeah and it's so beautiful i really like this color it's stunning my next favorite is gonna be a nude of course and this is jeffree star velour liquid lipstick in nude beach and this is a really gorgeous nude for lighter skin tones i personally cannot wear it all over my lips because it's just too frosty for me it's just too bright for my skin tone that i can't wear it all over my lips um, but what i love to do with this is i actually put it in the center of my lips when i feel like a nude is too dark or it's just too mauvey for me and i want it to be more nude i will go ahead and apply apply this to the center and it's so perfect for like doing ombre lips the cap is honestly like just so smooth i like was playing with this forever because it's like so smooth it just like glides off like that i don't know you guys are probably thinking i'm really weird because like why does a cap matter but i don't know i just found it pretty interesting um but yeah I would say I really, really do like his liquid lip uh, formula. It's not like that drying, crusty kind of um, liquid lipstick. It is kind of creamy, just like the O4 Cosmetics one, which I really enjoy because then I know that my lips won't be so dry. But I do feel like it is a little bit sheer, which I wish it wasn't because... I want a lot of pigmentation, you know, but I mean, I can live with this since I don't put it all over my lips. But here's the swatch of it right here. It is pretty light, but I really, really like the color and it's honestly just so beautiful and comfortable. And my last lip favorite is going to be a gloss and I recently just got into glosses and I honestly love them so much I feel like I wear glosses more than I wear my mattes now, which is kind of strange because I used to like really, really, really hate glosses just because it was always so sticky and all that stuff but i found my love for glosses and it's honestly like my fave ever and the one that i've been reaching for almost every single look that i've done was sugar by bare minerals and this is just like a little a little one because i didn't know if i was gonna like glosses so i just kind of got this um and it came with the 
liquid lipstick as well. Um, I did film like a review video for that and I wore the liquid lipstick that it came with. Um, I do like that too, but the gloss is what I've been reaching for forever this month and I just feel like it's so perfect and it's the perfect nude for my skin tone and I don't know if I can get this in a liquid lipstick formula or a lipstick shade I would definitely wear it every single day but I would definitely purchase the full size product for sure let me show you guys how it looks like because it is just so stunning so it's this gloss is it? yeah it's this gloss right over here and it's like a pinky nude but it's honestly so perfect for every look that i have done it's just so beautiful and i love it moving on to eyes my favorite liquid liner this month has been the nyc liquid eyeliner <laughs> um and it's just in the black but i really really like this eyeliner because it was only like two dollars and i got it from target and it's drugstore and i feel like it works so good and it's really really dark and like just so perfect to control nyx has one for eight dollars i believe and i really really like that one but i saw a lot of youtubers like crispy and desi and amy Mercado. They were saying that they really really like the NYX one so I wanted to try it and it's pretty much the same thing as the NYX one but better. Like I honestly feel like this one I had so much more control with and it's a lot darker as you can see right here. It's just so perfect to make my wing liner and I feel like I can never run out because look at that like this is a lot of product. Um, and the applicator is just like this so it's so easy to draw on a wing liner if you don't even want to do a wing liner it just makes everything so much easier and i feel so much more comfortable using this than like a pen which i have used in the past an eyebrow favorite this month is going to be the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer i know in my last video i said that i did not like it that much because i felt like the brow was more worth it which i still do feel like it is um but what I've been using this for is before I apply my um, pomade, my dip brow, I will go ahead and draw in my eyebrows pretty much with my brow definer. And then I'll shape my brows, use the spoolie, and then put on my pomade. Um, and I feel like it has made my brows so on point lately. Like, I love it so much. I actually, like, ran out. Like, it's, like, out. As you can Yeah. It's so, like, done for, but I, like, have to go get a new one. I've just been really, really liking this eyebrow product for this month, and the spoolie is awesome, too. And, I don't know. Now that I, I actually did not do my brows with it today because it's obviously, like, done with, and I miss it so much because it, like, completed my eyebrows so, so much. And I literally thought to myself, like, how did I do my brows before using a pencil, you know, because... It just like completes it like it sets my eyebrows because my eyebrows are super duper light you guys have seen them um and it just like makes it visible and then i put my dip brow on and it's like a perfect base for it as well because the dip brow is a little bit um the dip brow is a little bit cr too creamy sometimes so it is gonna leave some bald spots um but i feel like the pencil has been amazing for those bald spots for the face i have been really really liking the um, Age Rewind by Maybelline, I believe. Yes, Maybelline. A lot of people has been raving about this over the years and mine's like super dirty and nasty at the cap. And so just ignore that. But everybody has been raving about it saying that it's a really, really good drugstore concealer. And I never got my hands on it until this month because I ran out of concealer and I needed um, one for the other eye. I really wanted the Tarte Shape Tape one, but it was always out of stock in my shade. So I just got this one to try, test it out and I actually really really like it I really like it for the under eyes I put it for my under eyes my t-zone and then on my chin and I just blend it out and I feel like it's so creamy and lightweight and it's been making my makeup look really flawless and I feel like under my eyes it has not been creasing that much as it was in the past so I definitely will be repurchasing this and getting some extras because it's a really really good drugstore concealer and it's probably one of the best ones that I have tried so far my next favorite is gonna be brushes and excuse this brush is it is extremely dirty I'm gonna be washing them today so don't you worry girl <laughs> this is a foundation brush from Zoeva and it's just their kabuki foundation brush and I don't even know the number because it just kind of like 
wiped off now that I literally use it every day. I have not been reaching any other foundation brush or beauty blenders besides this guy right here because I feel like this is so perfect to get into those small areas and it blends out my makeup like a dream, you guys. I love this so much and... I feel like I will probably be purchasing another one just in case this one gets ruined because I use it so much. I just love it so much for applying my foundation and blending out everything. I usually use a different brush for blending out my concealer and all that, but sometimes when I don't have time for that, I'll just use this. And it blends it out so beautifully, and I am so in love with it. And I don't know. I feel like this is going to be my favorite foundation brush for a really long time. So I've been really liking the Tristig cream highlighter um for the eyes actually i don't use it for highlighter or anything like that only because it's too creamy and i don't really like cream highlighters so i've been using it for my eyes as a base for pigments i've been really liking nude beam by Too faced and this is one of their glamorous dust which you guys have seen me use in a tutorial but i honestly like did not use it after that and it's just so beautiful i don't want it to bit over yeah, honestly, the pigment is just everywhere now, so let me just show you guys on my finger right here. So it is honestly just so gorgeous, and as you can see right here, it's all over my fingers. Um, it's so gorgeous. I've been using this on my eyes a lot this month because it's just a really, really pretty pigment for a pop of glitter and this has been really really awesome for the base of that because it is a cream highlighter so it is sparkly itself um and i don't want to use like glitter glue for it because that's just too thick and this is just perfect for that so yeah i've been loving this combination together for the inner corners on my lids everything i've been living dying for this and my last favorite is actually going to be a palette that i got this month and it is the 10 color palette professional blush by bh cosmetics i got this and i fell in love with it honestly like right away it comes with 10 different blushes and it has a lot of like neutral um nude blushes and then it has a lot of the pinks and purples right here i've been loving this palette because i've been doing a lot of people's makeup for like homecoming and just in general i just started to do a lot of people's makeup so i wanted to get like a variety of blushes and i feel like this palette was awesome for that the pigmentation is great like let me show you guys this guys it is amazing as you can see right here it's extremely pigmented and they're really nice blushes and I just feel like they're not they're really easy to blend with as well they're high quality but I think this palette was like 12 or 10 dollars so it's definitely worth your money and I would definitely go get this if you are a starter makeup artist like me and you want to just have something that works that is affordable and it's gonna have a lot of varieties so yeah this is an amazing amazing palette so there you go guys that was all my favorites of this month i hope you guys enjoyed this video and give it a like and subscribe to my channel and leave a comment down below letting me know what you guys would like to see next um i would definitely put out a video for you guys next week and i will be continuing to do that all right i hope you guys are having a wonderful day and i'll see you guys next time bye